Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. In, in a last video, or a previous video of mine, I talked about how to manage your FortiGate using Terraform and building out new resources. But you may want to also bring in some resources to manage, um, such as different types of objects, users, services, um, you know, VPN tunnels, things of the sort. And we're going to show you how to do that um, using Terraform here. So if you go into the registry, we're going to just do a simple import of one of these um, addresses here, these uh, policy or objects here. So what we do is we we'll go into the Fortinet provider, which we can search for up here. So we want to go into this one here. Now, if you already um, watched my previous video, I'll show you how to set up the API and everything to connect into this in the uh, Terraform code to run it. So we go into documentation, we're going to look for firewall address, and we're going to use this here, which is the newer format to creating um, objects. Now to do an import, you'll see typically if there's a, uh, an, an, a, the ability to import resources into your code, you would see this import tab at the top, I mean on the right hand side there, and it'll take you to the bottom. So. In order to import resources, you'll need to run this command. Before you do that, you need to add in a, let me clear some of this out here. So let's say this is all the code we have. Um, this is net new stuff. This is stuff we've already added. But we want to bring in some um, previous old um, configurations. We first need to create a block that mimics where we want to add this to. It doesn't have to have anything in it, it just needs to be there so Terraform can see it. We'll address, and then we'll just give this a name, we'll call it device6. That's what we're going to be pulling in. So we want to save that, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then what we need to do then is, we need to go and see what this Terraform um, plan or import is needing. So it looks like it's needing the Ford iOS firewall address dot label name and then the name uh, that it's called. So you can usually see your state. So I'm going to run Terraform init to download my providers. And I'm just going to run a plan real quick. And this is actually, let me take this part out. I'm going to run this to get a state file going here. So I'm going to do Terraform plan. And then it looks like two things are going to be added. Oh, actually I forgot to save. Okay, let's run that plan again. It should be only one thing added. Okay. Now Terraform apply. And then we're just going to do an auto approve. Speed it up here. Sorry, I guess that you got that uh, created in my firewall now. But you know what? I want to bring in something um, that's already created. So now I can do a Terraform show to show my state file and what's already in it. So this is a good way to kind of see what's um, showing in your state file in a more readable format. So now I'm going to go ahead and put that block back in there. And I'm going to save this. And now what I'm going to do is do a Terraform import. I'm going to copy this here, and we're going to need to do the label name, which is device6, and for the name, the name is device6, and that name we derive from, log back in here. So we get that name from here. So it needs to be this unique name that you have on these. So what we can then do is press enter. Let me get this off the screen. Okay, so now that's been pulled into our state file. So now we can see we got device six here for this ID, and then we should see test address two. Now, um, this doesn't create any resources in Terraform because if we were to do a Terraform apply now and we don't put everything in, 
that we need to, there's going to be some changes that will be made unless we go in and get those um, figured out. So you can see that um, it's going to go, it's going to change the null. So we don't want that to happen. So basically let's go in and put, and it'll tell you what's needed. So associated interface, we don't have that there. So let's go associate interface is land. And then what else do we need here? We need name is going to equals device device six. And then visibility, we need to set that to enable. All right, and I think that's it. And let's save that. And then now if we do another Terraform, let's say no here. So we, let's do another Terraform plan, see what. So dynamic sort suitable, that looks like that's going to change. Looking, why is this up here saying this is going to change? So test address. Start IP 10.10.10.50. Yeah, we can actually. Yeah, let's keep this. Not worry about that. So yeah, so now that we have that pulled in, it only says that this is going to change. So it's not going to actually affect anything. It's just going to update. So we can. This must be set to true. So if we go to Terraform show, what's it currently set to? don't see it in here so maybe that's something that gets added can actually even go back dynamic sort suitable is false you can actually go back here and see if that's even in here so dynamic sort nope I don't even really see it okay dynamic sort subtables please do not set this parameter when clearing so Okay, so we'll just not worry about that. So now that's how you pull that in. So now if you want to make changes to it, we can essentially come in. I don't even know. Maybe there's a comment. Yeah, so comment we could throw in. Um, I don't know if it'll show in the GUI, but let's go ahead and say comment. Uh, use internal TV. And let's run a, a, another plan. So we got some comments that's going to be added. We can now do an apply. And then that's been modified. So now if we go back to our FortiGate, we might see that comment in there. Let's see if it actually... Yep, so internal TV. So that's one way to pull in configuration into your code. Um, allows you to kind of do some source control um, on pre, on current and um, or past and current configs. So if you have any questions in regards to any type of other imports in FortiGate, leave me a comment down below. This is my uh, dev or actually home network, so I kind of do a lot of testing of various things here and there, only because I have, keep a lot of the stuff backed up. So again, you know. Like and subscribe to this video, drop a comment, visit my website, letmetechyou.com. I'll have other you know, blogs and articles on various networking, cloud automation tips. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.